Most local squads having artificial turf fields, lacrosse teams in the area aren't going to have quite as many weather postponements as baseball and softball teams. As Jay Wilcox reports, the Osseo Park Center girls lacrosse team is aiming for another good season. It's a young team for Osseo Park Center, but there is good talent coming up through the program, and that has them excited. Um, I think our team this year has a lot of depth. We have a lot of girls that are at a really high playing level and a lot of girls that can improve their playing a lot and have a really good potential to be a really good team this year. And the thing is, we, I think we have the most depth that we've ever had, um, which is, is good to see. We've got some girls that are going to be put into roles they haven't been in before, and, and we're kind of expecting a lot of them, but we're still pretty confident uh, we'll have a pretty good year. Among a good group of seniors lost from last season is Margot Coombs, a 64 goal scorer who is one of the better players in the state. No one player can replace her. Yeah, Margot is a really great player. She was definitely the person who we ran most of our stuff through and our top goal scorer, but I definitely think that people will step up this year and take over her position. Maybe not be quite the strongest player as she was, but different people can fill that gap. Osseo Park Center was third in the Northwest Suburban Conference with an 8-3 league mark, and they lost in their section final for a third straight season. Getting over that hump is a big goal. We've actually gotten the section final for three years in a row now, so I, I do think it gives us a little bit of confidence, um, another challenge to get past. We've only gotten to the second game, you know, those times, but we haven't made it past that, and we still are looking for that. Some young players will have to step into big roles, but the future is bright for the OPC girls. Jay Wilcox, CCX Sports. The Crocs open the season Thursday evening against Elk River at Osseo High School.